Let's check out what our friends have been up to since the last video. This is Vera with her eye-eating mask. And Eden, can you guess what the mask is? At mummy.3explorers made three masks. The dragon is so huge. Last but not least, we have the Dancing Blue Man by Ruda. Thank you for your submissions. They were awesome. Let's return to our scheduled program. Hi, welcome to Kids Stay Home. I'm Wendy. I hope everyone is doing okay at home. Today, I'm going to share with you um, how to make a costume mask. First, let me introduce Ah He. For those who don't know, He means fish in Hokkien. This is a wear inside um, costume mask. Um, this is a more complicated version of it because you need a lot of cardboard uh, to make this. Um, these are used CDs. Um, basically, I cut it out to look like scale, so you can also do something like that. Or you can also cut circles or semicircles um, to beautify the scale as well to make it pop. So, right now, I'm going to teach you a simple version to make this costume mask. Now, before we start, uh, we will need some tools. Uh, we will need your scissors, again, pen knife, and two pieces of cardboard like this. Uh, make sure it's about at least 25 cm on each side of uh, the width of your body. Um, so we will need um, two pieces of this cardboard and also small little pieces that we're going to make um, um, the fish fins later. Now we're going to translate this fish body to this big piece of cardboard. So, I'm going to draw it first. So it's usually like a half semicircle, like a crescent at the edge. And then, over here as well. So I'm going to connect to the tail. So once you're done with this um, body of fish, this shape, you can cut it out or, uh, with your scissors or pen knife and then you can use this, um, this piece and make an identical one. So what you can do is uh, trace it over another cardboard um, to cut out the same piece. Next, we are going to draw a fin. Uh, you will need uh, a set of this and this is like a shape of a seashell. And then over here, we're just going to draw two lines, which is like a tab. A tab that uh, is to insert into the body later. So, what I'm going to do here is like a diamond shape. Half diamond, not really diamond. <laughs> and then two straight lines at the sides. So now we are ready to do all the cutting. So be careful when you are using uh, your pen knife and scissors. Sometimes I will switch around with pen knife and scissors because um, it's just easier and faster. And then with this shape, you can use this and trace it with another cardboard so that you will have a similar uh, shape like this. So just trace it over down. Just gonna quickly trace over. And do the same thing, cut it out and you will have your body. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you how to insert using this tab to the body and this is about about seven centimeter so you want to cut a little bit extra over here using a pen knife and then uh, so that you are able to push this thing in so be careful when you use your pen knife and then you're gonna stuck this in and bend it at the back over here so right now we have a fish with the fin and you can use it uh, for a lot of things. So you're gonna cut this part out uh, as eyes. Um, 
so I have one over here I'm gonna for now I'm just gonna glue gun this down over here so you have the eyes right now like this now the next step is to decorate the fish so um, you can draw the scales as well and paint it any colors you want and not to worry about how you're gonna draw it you can um, actually make this fish uh, entirely abstract as well um, what I like to do is also draw like different shapes um, and in black and white um, it's gonna look um, very uh, different from Ahu So after when you are done with decorating your fish, um, which mine looks like that, um, simple doodle, which uh, um, like you can have like uh, squares, um, lines, circles, you can draw anything you want, just express yourself. Um, for me, I like a lot of lines, so you can always see a lot of lines um, in my drawing. And so remember to um, draw both sides. So it doesn't have to look the same, like mine is completely different altogether. And make sure you draw a different side because when you are putting them together, it's going to be like that, like this way. So, um, so it's uh, going to be like this side and this side. I'm going to show you a little bit how I, um, what I did for Ahu. So Ahu, uh, what I did was I cut out all these uh, small little circles over here and they look uh, like scales. The thing about this scale is you got to have a lot of cardboards with you to uh, cut out all these little circles. Over here you can just uh, stick it on top of each other and just going to continue stack them over and over again until you have the, uh, finish the rest of the body. Okay, so when you are done with this, the next thing we are going to do is to attach the rope um, on the cardboard. Uh, so it's going to look like a handbag. Um, so what I have here is a, a very old rope that I got from Daiso, uh, which you can use any kind of ropes you want, like a raffia string or anything that you can find at home. Um, so what you're going to do is just place this over your shoulder and then try to measure all the way down to your waist roughly this size so you're gonna have um, two sets of this which I have extra one here okay great <laughs> and then um, you're gonna need a pen so what I gonna teach you uh, now is to um, poke two holes at the center of the body over here I, uh, it's very easy to do just poke a hole over here it's a very lazy trick <laughs> and um, or you can also use needle which I think using pen or pencil is the easiest just poke a hole um, through it or you can use puncher as well um, to poke a hole if you I've never tried that before you can and then you're just gonna insert this uh, string over like tying your shoelace which I hate tying my shoelace <laughs> when I was young and then when you are done inserting the, the holes you just have to tie a knot over here and then we are done so it's gonna look something like this so if you don't want these two things to uh, wobble you can actually cut a piece of cardboard a small one and build a bridge across and stick them together Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy making your costume masks and feel free to experiment it uh, with different types of animals and send us your masks that you have created. I hope you, uh, you are enjoying your school holidays so far and take care and see you soon. Oh, hello. Are you making your own aha? If you are, share it with us with the hashtag 3pumpkins and we will feature it in our next video. See you. Bye!